Hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Wing Diamonds. I am here today with an unboxing. Um, just a little disclaimer, I am unboxing this kit in April, but I will not be posting this video until August because this kit is a birthday gift for one of my best friends and just in case she actually, like she's been watching my videos, I don't want to spoil anything for her. So, so yeah. Um, so just so you know, this is filmed like way ages ago. <laughs> but um, yep, this is uh, one of the Avengers kits that dropped in April. And we got, there's a picture, here it is. We got Loki. Loki is my best friend's favorite character. So when I saw Diamonds and Washi not only like have this painting, but actually completed it, when I saw the completed work, I'm like, oh gosh, I need to get this for my girl. So. Let's go ahead and get into it. And of course I moved my scissors away. My little kindergarten scissors, right? Cause I'm an adult and I still have stuff from when I was a kid. Cause you know, I think we all have that kind of stuff though. So I hope everybody's doing well today. Um, I wish I could see into the future and know what my channel looks like in August, but unfortunately I don't. <laughs> I don't have that ability. Okay. So, a little tour of this box because we have the special logo and everything like that. It is a square diamond painting kit. Um, you can tell by the square here. Um, usually they also have like the lines would be colored to them, but since we do have a special box for the Adventures collaboration, then this one's going to be different. And then we got up top here, we have like a little diamond rendering of Loki. Um, back is basically the same. We, we got the Marvel Avengers at the top and then got like the step-by-step, -step, what's in here, all that stuff. Um, on the side we got some more pictures here. And oh yeah, and then on the side we have the, the actual, the full picture. It shows we have 59 colors, three Aurora Borealis diamonds. Um, what else? Oh yeah, this kit's all the way down at the bottom. Can I get that? Yeah, okay. This kit is called Glorious Purpose and it is a 22 by 28 or a 55.8 centimeter by 70.7 .7 centimeter. So. Ooh. Oh. Stuff's poking at the bottom here. Okay. Oh, kind of got a little grabby with that. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, yeah, it's back in April when I'm still getting over this sinus infection. <laughs> so we have our logbook sticker here with the picture, and then it's actually got like the Marvel logo and stuff on it, so that's pretty cool. We got our toolkit, which mine kind of looks like a busted at the bottom a little bit, but we got our standard diamond painting toolkit. My fingers don't want to work today. There we go. Out of the bottom, <laughs> we got our tweezers, which you only get with square uh, tool kits for that with Diamond Art Club. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. 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 So we got a blue sparkly light or light blue sparkly pen with a light blue squishy. Um, generally, these will come matchy matchy. And actually, my my cover minder matches today too. We got this cute little doggo with a peach and a cover minder. Basically, it's got this magnet on the back, and you use it to hold back your plastic on the on the canvas, so that way you don't have to pull it all off. Um, we always get two multi placers. We got a four placer and a seven placer, and these are the plastic ones. I don't think these are thin, so I think they're thicker. If you ever want to use it, you just pop it on the back of your pen, it's boop, 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 and off you go. I keep mine separate because I keep everything in separate little baggies. Speaking of little baggies, you get a bag of baggies, which are really nice for either kitting up or, in my case, I like to de-kit and keep my extra drills. Toss those aside there. Um, we get washi tape with it, which we have this beautiful, like, autumn -y leaf looking one. So that is nice. And then you get these, oh, you get this caddy with <laughs> struggle bus. Okay, you get this caddy with two heart-shaped waxes in it. 
um, just make sure like before you use them, you peel, like each side has this like plastic film on it. Make sure you peel that back before you shove your pen in there. I won't lie, when I first started diamond painting, I tried sticking my pen just in there and I was like, oh wait, there's wax on, or there's a cover on those. And then last but not least, we get a little tray with a stopper on it. I really like that Diamond Art Club started including these stoppers because, yeah, before they didn't and just drills would fall everywhere. <laughs> but if you're curious about what older Diamond Art Club kits look like, I do have a video for that. Okay, so now we got our canvas and it comes in this beautiful, or it comes beautifully wrapped like this in this uh, dust cover bag. Uh, Diamond Art Club canvases are very soft, um, so they are, they tend to get like, especially with my case, cat fur, um, if you have doggos, you'll get dog fur on it, and yeah, it's just easy to do. Okay, so inside the kit we have our drills. Thank you note. Ooh. There we go. Is everything? Side's kind of squished down, so. Okay. Okay, so we'll get to that in a second. So you get this lovely little thank you for your purchase paper. Um, gives you what's included in the kit. Um, link to the VIP Facebook group. If, like, once you do purchase your first kit, you ha can join that group. Uh, I will warn you, it's definitely full of a lot of enablers. <laughs> but yeah, the people, you can see like if there's any kits you're curious about, like how they're looking or anything like that, generally there's probably somebody who's done it. So you can always just pop over there and just look and see like, okay, is this one I really want to get? Once again, you have step-by-step -step instructions and like a little QR code to take you to a video for step-by-step -step instructions. Um, got some little tips and tricks here and little ex explanation of stuff, uh, sticker label, checkerboard. Oh, that's cool. Um, talk about release paper, multi-placers, color blocking, washi tape, stuff like that. And then you get a little discount code here, so you can use that on your next purchase. And then on the back, you get another QR code with a 20% off your first purchase through the app, specifically for this one. Um, but the QR card will take you directly to the app, which I love the app because it's so, it's so handy to have. Okay. Here we are, we have the sticker sheet um, with the title Glorious Purpose, gives you a start end date, the act, the art, um, artist picture, the run, the, what, the, 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 uh, struggle. Um, but yeah, the, basically what the art looks like um, before they turn it into diamond art clo or diamond painting. Um, you got your size here. And then we have 59 colors in this kit. And it looks like we have three ABs in this. So you will always be able to tell what an AB is because it is always going to be under 150 on the sticker sheet. And um, nice thing that Diamond Art Club has been doing lately too is um, they match up the numbers. So if they're going to use numbers as symbols, they match them up. So 1 is 1, 2 is 2, 5 is 5, 7 is 7, 8 is 8. Love that because before they used to just throw them wherever and it gets, it gets confusing. We got our lovely drills here. Look how, oh, you see that AB right there already. Um, so yeah, we got Glorious Purpose labeled here, so if you do want to keep your canvas separate from your drills, um, you have a little label on there that um, allows you to do so. But we're going to set these to the side for now. We'll get to them in a moment. Uh, let's check out this canvas. So all the Diamond Art Club kits are poured glue, so you can roll them back. Uh, like them. Oh my goodness, guys. There we go. Can roll that back if you if they will allow you to is it that there we go there we go we got it we got it so yeah it's poured glue so you can roll it back without any fears of damaging the, the um, adhesive and um, generally I do this just to make them lay a little bit flatter Diamond Art Club does have self flattening canvases but sometimes they need a little help okay. <laughs> that was not as graceful as I was hoping it would be. Okay. okay, so there he is in all of his glorious glory. <laughs> um, so we'll do a quick uh, tour of the canvas. So up at the top here, we got the branding, Do What Makes You Sparkle. We got a legend over here. Make sure I was on the camera. We also have a legend down here. 
Um, down at the bottom, we have Diamond Art Club socials. The lifetime warranty, if there's any problems with your canvases from Diamond Art Club and you're the original purchaser, um, you just have to email them and they will help you out with that. Um, although I have to say, I don't think I've ever had a problem with Diamond Art Club canvas yet. Um, so over here we have, once again, the thumbnail of the painting. We have the, the name, the size, and who is licensed by, for, um, who is licensed from and who is licensed by. Um, and then we got, it looks like Marvel here. And then as you can see, these edges are scalloped and poked. Um, that is basically to help prevent fraying. Once again, I don't think I've ever had a problem with that on these canvases. So it's worked out now. It worked out pretty well. Um, I'm sure you can see these little bubbles in here. Never fear, that is just from the plastic. I generally, if you just do this and flatten it out, that'll solve the problem. I usually don't do that as often because I usually make it times times worse because I'm not as good at it. <laughs> so yeah, there's Loki. So there's the painting. I think I got it all in one shot. Woo -woo -woo -woo. Do a quick little pan. Trying to do this while not being able to see very well. Oh, okay, cool. So we're going to flip him over because I don't want the camera bugging out when we get into the drills. Okay, so we're going to bust into these and see our drills. Remember, we got three ABs we're going to be looking out for, and I'll give you a little explanation as to what ABs are when we get there. I mean, this canvas is super soft. <laughs> okay, so for those of you who may not like the crinkle, just bear with me a moment. I will get these right on out. <coughs> oh. Okay. So Diamond Art Club organizes their drills by weight. Um, so we are gonna go ahead and start with one of these smaller one, smaller groupings of them, because we have a bunch. So we got 3761, 414, 996, 3818. And this one we got 505, 3799, Okay, we got 129 here, which is our first AB. It's this beautiful yellow. So AB stands for Aurora Borealis. Um, it's basically named after the Northern Lights. Um, these drills have a special iridescent coating on them that makes them shine a little bit brighter. And then they also, in turn, kind of do like a reflection on the other diamonds next to them. So everything like it makes it more sparkly, basically. Um, so yeah, you'll always be able, like I said with Diamond Art Club, you always be able to tell it's an AB because it's under 129, and you can just, you can see that sparkle, like, just, just look at that, oh, look at that shine. Hopefully my camera picked it up well. Okay, we got 775 and 317. Right now I'm working on a painting with all of these grays, and I'm not looking forward to painting with more grays. <laughs> okay, we got 930, 318, we got two bags of 318, we got 890, 780, 995, that's really pretty blue. 3847. Okay, we got our second AB, which is 141. This is white AB. 141 is probably one of the more standard ABs. You'll probably find them in 90% of the Diamond Art Club canvases. We got 518, 783, 413, 311, 562, 3072. 932, 7288, 3848, 312, 839, and 898. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. We got 823. We got two bags of 939. Got 3845. Okay. We got 139, which is our second AB. It's this beautiful gray. 931. And we got 310. We got one, two, three, four bags of 310. 3843. 336. 
Ooh, that one really punched through. Rest in peace, little guy. Here, toss that. <laughs> Make sure the cats don't eat it. Okay. <laughs> Story of my life. Kids and cats, right? 38, 38, 743, 517, 38, 30, 368. I don't think I've ever used that color before. That's really pretty. 3808, 3778, 3765, 3842, 803, 3864. We got a lot of these four digit numbers. 758, 356, 319, 3371, 3861, 8824, 3814, 762, and 37, or 367. Did I only see two 80s in this? Was I incorrect in my speaking before? Let's find out. Oh no, I did find three. <laughs> Never mind, the 141 I forgot about. Okay. So I was looking at our AB, so we got symbol 1, 2, and the white dot. Um, so it looks like the white dot is here, and kind of like highlighting here. And then, yeah, so anywhere, basically, oh, you can't even see it up on his head. I'm pointing, and you can't even see it. So yeah, it's like around his crown here, and that's also in the Mind Stone over here. So it uh, looks like they basically use that as a reflection from this. Um, cause they add like all surrounding. So anywhere that little white dot is, yeah, down here. Okay. And the number one is just going to be accenting in his armor. It looks like also in the crown also over here. So yeah, so that's that gold one. And then 139 is that dark, like that, uh, grayish one. And it looks like that's going to be highlighting down in the rocky area here, some over here, some down here, <laughs> some over here, some down in here, so it's all in this rock down here in the bottom, rock and smoke it looks like. So yeah. So yeah, it looks like the more majority of this is going to be AB because we got all this white in here that's going to be AB and then this gold over here, so that's going to look cool. Um, I know Diamonds and Washi did that in Crystal, but I think we're just going to stick to how it looks now and I'm gonna just I don't know, I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it and it's gonna make an awesome birthday present for my my friend who absolutely loves Loki like she even cosplays as Loki a lot so when I saw this painting and I was like man I thought it was gonna be safe from the Marvel releases because I'm not the biggest Marvel fan myself but once I saw Loki I was like darn it my girl Angel needs this so here he is Loki and all his glory. Um, just remember, I did film this back in April, so I will be doing this for Marvelous May, but you guys won't see this unboxing until August, <laughs> until after I give her her birthday present. But yeah, I will be doing this painting for Marvelous May, and I am looking very forward to it. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> I think that's it for this video. Um, thank you guys for hanging out with me and watching this lovely unboxing. Hopefully by the time this unboxing comes out, you guys aren't sick of the Marvel kits because I know a lot of people are unboxing them right now. Um, if you like this video, be sure to throw me a like, um, throw me a comment, let me know did you get any of the Marvel kits and um, I mean who knows, maybe by this point they probably have more out because like, I know I feel like this wasn't their only run of them. I feel like that's what people were saying. But yeah, let me know in the comments, did you get any Marvel kits? Um, did you take part in Marvelous May? Um, yeah, just love to hear from you. So here we have Glorious Purpose in all of his glory. <laughs> um, I did not do any enhancements. I know like we all know Diamonds Washi. She did this painting and she's the reason I got this painting. But um, she did the enhancements here. But I kept it basically the way it was. And I think it still looks good. So I'm really pleased with it. This painting was absolutely amazing to work on. Um, they had the new squares from Diamond Art Club. Um, hopefully this, the colors are coming through okay. We are very overcast today, so I'm doing my best with my lighting. So 
yeah, this painting was awesome to work on. These are the newer squares from Diamond Art Club, and man, they are amazing. I just, I cannot get over, like, look at that, just whoosh, look at that sparkle and shine. Oh, it's so fantastic. The color is amazing, and I mean, I really don't have anything bad to say about this canvas. Um, I mean, I did get a little bogged down with the lack of color, but then like getting over in here where Loki is and stuff like that, and then I got up into the blues. That's why I started down here first, because like I wanted to get all those grays out of the way. But yeah, you got up into this, and then I went smoothly. And then of course this top section here, like all of this is color blocking. I think I like literally bumped through that in like an hour. Um, so yeah, I did this canvas for Marvelous May, um, which is, well, <laughs> never mind. I was gonna say, which is still going on, but as of the fil time of this filming, yes, it is still going on, but um, yeah, we're, by the time you guys see this, it's gonna be long past. Um, I started this painting on May 1st, and then I finished it, oh my god, what day is it? It's, sorry, I'm gonna wiggle you a little bit, the 20th, so yeah. Um, I was working on this one in tandem with another painting, so it took me a little bit longer, um, but yeah, 20 days to finish. Um, and that's when it's only working on it, like, in the evenings and stuff like that. Since it's a smaller painting, I was able to have it on my lap stand on the couch, so I basically only worked on this after the kids were in bed. Um, the other painting is on my kitchen table, so I was working on it like that. Um, so this painting, it's got three ABs in it, and the... Um, where they put them are just like fantastic. So we have all white ABs in here. And then there's some of the, yeah, some of the yellows are throughout the, well, some of the yellows are right here. Like we have a whole bunch. Oh yeah, and up here. I knew there's more on the staff. We see more of the yellows in like here and in his armor and stuff. And man, guys, I cannot get over this awesome rendering. Like just look at that. I finished the section and when I like stepped back and actually looked at it, I was like, holy crap, that is amazing. Um, so yeah, Diamond Art Club definitely did Marvel justice and did Loki justice. Um, yeah, if you guys are interested, I believe this is still available. Um, I believe this is not one of the ones that has sold out yet. Uh, so yeah. But once again, I'm saying all this and it's not going to be a moot point because it's going to be in August. So hopefully it's on a restock if it is <laughs> by that point. But yeah, um, love the colors, love the drills. I did keep my trash drill separate, but I think I forgot to bring that container up with me. Whoopsies. Um, but I will go over this. So I use my art dot containers for this. And I had plenty left over, although this one, there's only three drills left. That one I played some chicken with. <laughs> But yeah, I for but everything else I had like a fair quantity left over. So yeah. So no problems there. I love these containers, by the way. These are fantastic for some of these paintings. So yeah. Um so yeah, I'm really excited because this painting is going to a very good friend of mine who actually ooh, another popped up drill, who actually cosplays as Loki. And, like, I've been <laughs> been talking with my other friend, and she, like, I've been sending her progress pictures and stuff like that. And, you know, we're, we're just, like, she's, like, oh, man, she's going to so cry when she sees this. I'm, like, yeah, that's what I'm going for. <laughs> Make my friend cry. Um, yeah, so that's that. I don't really have anything bad to say about the painting. Like, my child, oh, my goodness. <laughs> Um, I don't have anything bad to say about the painting. Like, it's a Diamond Art Club, of course, so drill quality is fantastic. We had no trouble with the glue. Um, canvas is easy to work with and very pliable. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So yeah, this is Glorious Purpose. If you are interested in getting it, I would highly recommend picking it up, especially if you are a Marvel fan. Um, yeah. Yeah, definitely... <laughs> um, yep so that's it for this video um if you enjoy this video be sure to give me a thumbs up and then also if you're not already subscribed hit that little subscribe button right there if you especially if you like diamond painting content and then you want to hit that bell to be notified anytime i put up videos um basically whip and chats are on wednesdays and then things like small shop hauls post reviews unboxings what have you are posted at random as i get stuff and yeah
I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.